welcome everybody to this next episode of Home Office Intermezzos. And today we get out of the office chair. So just put it aside and we start with a yoga belt. If you do not have a yoga belt, it can be any other kind of belt. It can be a string, a rope, or a shawl, or your neighbor's cat, whatever you have at hand. And then we first start by rolling the shoulders a bit, backwards, forwards. Maybe shake out your arms and your legs if you've just been sitting for like two, three hours maybe. And then find a stand with your feet hip width so you have the outsides of your feet parallel and your ankles are right underneath your knees and right underneath your hips and then you take your belt or shawl whatever you have in between your fingers and your thumbs give it a good distance and then you hold it with a stretch to really make sure it's not one of those elastic bands you want to have something that's steady and let's first exhale with the inhale you bring the arms up and with the exhale you bring the arms down with the inhale you bring the arms up keep the belt straight and the arms straight and exhale bring the belt down now, if that makes you, especially with the downwards movement, making your shoulders move like this, then just give it a bit more slack. And then you do the same thing again. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, arms down. And then you just keep going. Keeping the legs active, strong stand in your feet. Gentle activation in your belly muscles. And just give it a few rounds, focusing on your breath. Maybe give it three more rounds. That is, from the front to the back. And back to the front again. That is one round. Keep going with your breath. And after your last round, whenever that is, don't rush. Then just put whatever you used to the side, roll your shoulders a bit, shake out the arms, shake out the legs. And for the next one, you can either do it against the wall or you can use your chair. I'm going to show you with the chair because maybe not everyone has a wall at home that is free from furniture. So you can use any chair or a table, that's also possible. So you bring your palms on the lean of the chair. And then you walk back until your arms and your back is straight. And you want to make sure that your feet are not too far back or not too far forward. But you want to have your feet more or less under the hips so you feel a good stretch also in the back of your legs and then you want to make sure that you don't have the shoulders to the ears but you really have the shoulders back and away from the ears and then you just press down on the lean of your chair or your table or you press against the wall if you do it against the wall and you lift the sitting bones lengthen the arms lengthen the spine lengthen the legs and just stay here for a few breaths. See if you can keep your toes relaxed.
So this is really one you can do several times a day in between. Find these moments that work for you. Waiting for your next cup of tea to boil and brew. Or just on your way from your home office to the bathroom because, well, that probably still happens a few times a day anyway. So before you sit down again, just do this. A few breaths can be totally enough. For now, maybe give it three more deep breaths, your own count, your own pace. And then use an inhale to bend your knees, bend your elbows, walk maybe a step forward, and then just hang forward, bounce in your knees, swing out the arms, shake out your head, and then come to the center, and on an inhale, push the feet down, and come and roll up, vertebra by vertebra, with the head long. And roll your shoulders again, shake out the arms, shake out the legs. Now, we're going to add one more that we're going to do against the wall. If you do not have a wall, maybe you have a door that you can close and you do it against the door. But then really make sure that no one walks through the door while you're at it. Now, have the wall or door behind you. Stand like um, 15, 20 centimeters away from the wall. And make sure that your feet are hip width again. And then bring your fingertips back against the wall or door and let your buttocks fall back. Maybe lift your, s your flesh again from underneath the sitting bones so your sitting bones are back against the wall. And then you just have your hands on your thighs and your length in the spine. Keep the thighs active. Inhale, lengthen the spine, and on the exhale, fold from the hips and just slide down. Maybe you stay here again, inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, maybe slide further down. Keep your toes relaxed, but your legs super active. Maybe you stay here, but maybe it feels more comfortable to allow your back to round and your head to hang. And then you just hang out here for a while which is really, really relieving for the back of the legs. Might not feel like it right away, because this length in the legs is what we avoid when we sit all day. So simply focus on deepening the breath. Maybe stay for three more. This again, you can do several times a day as long as you like. But for now, after your three breaths, bring your fingertips back against the wall. Gently push your buttocks away from the wall. Bend your knees. Maybe take a step forward if needed. And then just bounce in your knees, swing out the arms, shake out your head. And then come to the center and on an inhale push the feet down and come and roll up with the head lost. And once again shake out your legs and arms, roll your shoulders. 
And then uh, it's probably time to get back to the office, to all those Excel sheets, PowerPoints, emails, because somebody probably needs them by yesterday. So success and have a wonderful day. Namaste.